At one point in the last two and a half years, working out became the highlight of my everyday life. I would just kill time during the day waiting to go to the gym in the evening. At that time, I felt like I was on top of the world. I felt better than everybody else my age because I worked out and they didn't. But looking back now, that time was actually pretty empty. Empty of life. I realized that the gym was actually making me pretty miserable and because it did that to me, it probably also does that to you. That's why in this video I will tell you how the gym may be ruining you, how working out less can lead to better results in every aspect of your life and how to actually do that without losing gains. This video is dedicated to my friend. He will know that I'm talking about him. Working out, whether it be weightlifting or calisthenics, was probably the first real self-improvement habit you got into. Doesn't matter if you started before you knew about self-improvement or because a self-improvement guru told you to do so. You wore your fat ass out of bed and all you want is some damn cinnamon buns. It's not okay. It's not acceptable. What both me and you and everybody else had in common was that it was very uncomfortable for us to go to the gym for the first time and for the first few weeks. You didn't really know what to do, you had to learn everything and you probably even did some embarrassing shit in the beginning. But most importantly, you stepped out of your comfort zone which made you grow as a person. First day at the gym was not that much about training your muscles, but more about training your mind. Doing something new, something uncomfortable made you become a tougher and a more experienced human being. But fast forward a few months or even years later, you're still going to the gym, you have a much better physique which you should be proud of, but working out isn't outside of your comfort zone anymore. You've probably made some friends at the gym, it feels fun to go there, pick up heavy plates, joke around and have a nice time, which means that it doesn't require any discipline or willpower from you, therefore it doesn't make you grow as a person, it doesn't train your mind. You could cope and say that it still requires discipline because you have to progressively overload and train harder the last time, but please remind yourself of the time when you first started working out. Remember the bicep workout after which you were so sore that you literally couldn't pick up a water bottle? Remember the leg day after which you were so sore that you could barely walk without getting cramps every second step? When was the last time you experienced such thing? It probably was a long time ago, right? You probably don't even remember when it happened last time. So maybe you don't push yourself as hard as you think you are. Maybe going to the gym doesn't make you grow as a person anymore. Not training your mind is a horrible mistake, but what's even worse is that when working out gets inside of your comfort zone, it becomes an escape from doing what is actually difficult. Remember the time where you were supposed to do something demanding, like studying for an exam or doing your homework, but you didn't and you went to the gym instead? That is procrastination. And a few years ago, you would do literally the same thing, but instead of going to the gym, you would play Minecraft. So is there really a big difference between working out and Minecraft? You could be a nerd and say that, oh, it's healthy for you and shit, but at the end of the day, both are just your tools to escape from what's actually hard. It is the loser part of you that decides to go to the gym instead of studying for an exam, but let's talk about the successful part of you right now. Close your eyes and take a second to imagine the most successful version of you that you would want to become. Don't limit yourself. Dream as big as if you couldn't fail. If you're done, you can open your eyes. And now be 100% honest with me. Physique is probably not the most important attribute of the guy who you want to become. The most important attributes for you could be wealth, passion, freedom, love, and for sure an aesthetic physique is somewhere there too. But if wealth is your most important attribute, then why do you spend 10 times more time at the gym than studying and actually working on your business. Why is it that you want to have a successful YouTube channel, but you spend 10 times more time at the gym than creating videos? I know why. Because the gym is your escape and you use it to avoid doing what is actually hard. It is way more difficult to create good YouTube videos than it is to work out. I'm not even talking about the fact that it's my second time recording this video. When I tried it for the first time, I didn't record the audio. That's why I would love to hit chest with you at the gym right now. Oh my god, I would do anything not to be here right now because it feels uncomfortable. But guess what, man? I choose to not escape. I choose to do what I don't feel like doing but what gets me closer to the successful person who I want to be. This is real strength. You did not earn the right to call yourself strong 
if the only good thing you do in your day is go to the gym and other than that you play video games all day and party every single weekend. There is no difference between you and all the other degenerates. You feel like going to the gym, that is your hobby. Maybe they feel like playing basketball, that is their hobby. It all comes down to the fact that both you and all the other degenerates just do what you feel like doing. And to call yourself strong, you need to face reality, you need to do what is tough. That's how you get closer to the person who you want to become. Maybe you just went through a breakup and you lift heavy because you think that it makes the voices go away. But guess what? You cannot escape forever. Are you going to fuck up every next relationship in your life because you couldn't face that one breakup and everything still reminds you of that one girl who doesn't care about you? Maybe you've gotten a little bit too comfortable being this heartbroken gym bro and you use it as an excuse not to do anything else in life. No matter the case, you're just being a bitch man because every time you escape reality, you get further away from the successful person you imagined a few minutes ago. To be extraordinary, you have to do extra things and extra things suck. You have to study that extra hour, you have to read that extra book, you have to film that extra video. And what annoys me the most is that I'm not even saying anything revolutionary. You've probably heard all of this a thousand times, but you still don't listen. Work on your purpose. Well, no shit, man. You probably think that it's easy for a guy like me to say that because I have already found my purpose and you haven't found yours. I understand that your problem may be that the gym is your only passion and you don't know what to do in life. But here's the thing, man. I've tried more things in my life than you could ever imagine. I am not here to brag, but just to list a few that came before YouTube. I seriously tried becoming a photographer, DJ, music producer, dancer, artist, animator, coder, fighter, athlete in many different sports, and I am only 16. After many years, I finally found the one career path that I like the most. But if you come here complaining that you didn't found your way, but you haven't tried at least half of what I tried, then how can I take you seriously? This is also a part of the journey. Just like in the gym, you have to find out what to do first and only then go hard to get good results. But to put all the bullshit aside, you're probably young right now, so if you don't know what to focus on, then you can always focus on school. Besides all the future building reasons that we all know may be sketchy sometimes, the one that speaks to me is that if the gym is comfortable and school is uncomfortable then to grow as a person you have to focus on school at the end of the day no matter what you choose to focus on because unless you're a part of the 00001% of people who have a chance to go pro in bodybuilding you have more important things to do in life than working out that may be less fun but will get you better rewards in the future getting your mindset and priorities right is always the most difficult part once you get that, managing the gym to get the most gains while working out less is the easy part. The general approach you probably follow right now, consciously or unconsciously, is doing 10 sets per muscle each week and that gets you 100% of the possible gains, but it also takes a lot of time because approximately 10 hours of training itself per week. If you were to reduce that amount to only 5 sets per muscle each week, would that get you only 50% of the gains? No. Studies show that you can get up to 84% of the total gains. It means that you can get more results in less time, but if 84% doesn't satisfy you, then there are some tools which can boost that number even higher. Tool number one, go as hard as you can. Put in the extra reps that you normally wouldn't. This is unavoidable. If you wanna train less, then you have to train harder to get the same results. Remember that your mind always quits before your body does. Tool number two, drop sets. This is how you do it. Set your normal weight, go till failure, then immediately set a two times lower weight, go till failure, and then repeat it once again. You're going to say four to six minutes on each exercise that you would spend resting. The only disclaimer is to do it with easier exercises like bicep curls and not compound exercises like squats. Tool number three, rest less. During your training sessions, you probably rest for around 80% of the total time you spend at the gym. That is obviously healthy and good for gains, but we can improve that. Just like you progressively overload with weight or the amount of reps you do, you can also progress by lowering the total rest time. This week you can rest for three minutes, 
Next week, try two minutes and 45 seconds. And every week, gradually decrease the amount of time you rest. Those are the tools you can use to maximize the amount of gains you can get. Generally, you wanna do four to six exercises per training session, depending on how many drop sets you do. But that way, your workouts shouldn't take more than one hour. Remember, it's not that you want to train less to have more time to play video games, sit with friends on Discord or party. If you have room for improvement in other areas of your life like your screen time, then do that first. Only lower your gym time if it means trading it for something purposeful. Now I have a challenge that I want you to do after watching this video. Hit a workout that consists of 4 exercises, 3 sets each. Dumbbell incline bench press, pec fly machine, dumbbell shoulder press, lateral raises. But here's the most important part. To get your mind used to going past its limits and to train it, you wanna take each set till failure and then try as hard as possible to get in two more reps. Maybe it is not the most optimal way to train your muscles, but it is definitely the most optimal way to train your mind. And a tough mind is what separates winners from losers. Share a photo or a video of you during the workout on your Instagram story, tag me, and if you caption it, Jim is ruining your life, then I will share it back on my Instagram story. Remember that going to the gym is absolutely necessary, but if you make it your main priority and avoid doing what is actually purposeful, you will get nowhere in life. If you learned something new, then I would highly appreciate it if you could help the algorithm by clicking some buttons under this video. Remember to do what's hard, man, complete the challenge, and I will see you in the next video. Ale zrobiłem.